Welcome everyone to Microsoft Excel 2013 Lab 7 As usual we need two files to get started with this lab We need a Excel Lab 7 instructions file Also we need Excel Lab 7 starting file Please have these two files open side by side Instructions and starting file uh, Today's topic we will focus on using the pivot uh, tables so what is a pivot table? A pivot table is an interactive table that makes it simple to you so you can summarize and analyze large amounts of data in different ways. So in today's lab we will create a pivot table. We will use the pivot table builder. Also we will change the pivot table results. Then we will update and format the pivot table. To get started with today's lab, please go ahead and uh, open Excel Lab 7 starting file and then save it as Excel Lab 7 in documents inside a folder Microsoft Excel Labs. I will go ahead and do the same thing as we usually do at the beginning of each lab, Microsoft Lab, and then I will change the file name to uh, Excel Lab uh, 7 and then click on uh, save. Alright, now, it says here, there are two questions. What, look at the table first, look at this data. Look at this amount of data that I have here. You have an ID, you have a, a country a code, and you have employee, you have city, you have sales value. Using the dollar. Alright. So, going all the way down, you will see that I have a lot of data in this spreadsheet. So, I am asking you a question here. The first question is, what are the names of the salespersons located in the United States? So, some of you will look at the name of the employee or the salesperson and then keep going down until you see USA. So, you keep scrolling, that, scrolling down. Perfect. So, you get to USA. This is the first one that has USA. And then you will look at the names and the names okay I have John John again so how many John how many Richard how many Sam oh that that is going to be a very difficult task no no it's not why because we because we will use the pivot table to help us identify this information and then after you do that, after you find the salesperson in the, in the United States, you need to find how much sales amount did they sell in each city in the United States. Do you think that is going to be difficult? No, it's not going to be difficult. Why? Yes, you are right, because we will use the pivot table. So the second question, what is the total sales amount individuals sold in each city located in the United States so I will not answer these questions I will start by using the pivot table so I will start from number four here it says click anywhere inside the data in sheet one so I will click anywhere inside the data and then create a pivot table based on the range A1 all the way to E 800 so I will go to insert and then table and then pivot table so my range is automatically selected I will just click on ok it says here in the pivot table field panel this panel here a check nation so I will check nation and then I will check employee fields do you see what happened? It gave me all of the country abbreviation and the employee listed under each one of them. So if I scroll down here, I should be able to see what? USA. But I need to single out USA so I see only the United States salespersons. How do I do that? In the instructions, it says 
click the drop down arrow in cell A3 so you click on the drop down arrow in cell A3 and then it choose only USA so you uncheck select all and then you choose only USA and then click on OK now what is happening you just answered the first question which is question A very good now in the pivot table fields panel it check city and sales value so you check city and then sales value do you see what is happening okay reposition the fields as highlighted below rename the workbook sheet as shown below so let's look at the image below here so if you look here in the pivot table field the default nation employee and city will be under rows section no I need city to be under columns so to move one item from here you click on it and then drag it and that will move it under column and then I have sum of sales or in the right location and I need to make sure that sheet 2 is called pivot table press enter and then drag it to put it after sheet 1 perfect and then you go to sheet 1 here and then change the name to data as highlighted so anything that is highlighted in the image that's what you need to pay attention to and make sure that you uh, make it match as you see in the image so I go back to the pivot table look at my sales persons in the United States I can find here Fred sold this amount of money in Atlanta this amount of money in New York and the grand total is as you see in here and if you would like to see the total amount for each city at the very bottom here you can see the total sales in New York the total sales in Atlanta and the grand total you just answered question B congratulations save and upload this file as Excel Lab 7 via Blackboard I hope you did learn something new which is pivot table now you know how to use pivot table thank you everyone